I tried really hard to grow lavender from Provence in my backyard and I failed miserably. <laughs> you can see right here. Not great. However, I'm really proud of my pink pops because they are slamming right now. Check these out. Anyway, I digress. Today's anatomy of a no. Let's go. So on Monday, I co-hosted something called a mentorship walk, which is a twist on a regular walk that's hosted every single week in Central Park for folks in tech. And it's an opportunity for people to connect, uh, possibly find jobs, make new friends, so on and so forth. So anyway, um, I was a mentor and I was paired with uh, four women because you switch four times. And one of the young ladies, um, she found it hard to really stand up to one of the gals in her group who was especially more vocal. And so in the process of developing this app, she put forth a few backgrounds that she thought would be great. And um, this vocal gal came back and said, no, I don't really think the professor would want something like that. She didn't feel like she had recourse. She didn't know how to push back. For me, Scripps, as a former TV anchor, empowered me while I was on TV, and Scripps empower me today as a leader. I keep them tucked away in my back pocket because I can deploy them in real time when I need them, such as a situation like this. So rather than just go full guns blazing and saying, I disagree, I gave her three options. One is mild, one is semi-bold, one is really bold, and she can sort of dip her toe in the water and inch away as to which one feels the best when she wants to speak up and push back. Because as deferential as we are raised as women, it doesn't serve us when we need to be our own advocates in the this workplace. One comes from, all right, so the first one is courtesy of my friend and colleague, Ashley Nicholson. She also works in tech and she says, that's one approach, but I see things differently. The really bold one would be, I'd like to see if we might reach a better understanding about the backgrounds. I want to hear your thoughts and I want to share mine as well. And then number three, this one's really bold. It takes, it takes some cojones if you're going to share this one. I appreciate hearing your opinion, but I'm not prepared to change my mind on this. Again, you're probably going to want to make sure that you have evidence to support that statement because it's a pretty bold one. Hey, in my mastermind, I share a lot of scripts like this on an ongoing basis so that you can show up with better executive presence at work. So I'm now currently enrolling for candidates for the 2025 class. If you would like to be a part of the 2025 class and join the wait list, all you got to do is comment below confident and I'll DM you details.